there are some really strange inventions out there, like these things. Number 17, Bionic Ants. Real life ants are incredibly efficient. So it was only a matter of time before someone somewhere tried to harness that efficiency and make it beneficial to people. At least for some people anyway. A German technology firm called Festo created these robotic type ants. They're roughly the size of a human hand. According to Reuters, these ants coordinate their movements to complete tasks. Watch how real life ants would work in a colony. Armed with cameras, sensors, and ceramic legs, the idea here is that it can increase efficiency in workplaces while cutting labor costs. So it may be good for business owners, but bad for employees. Number 16. Automatic Sperm Extraction Machine Modern technology is all about efficiency. Anything to make life and science easier and quicker is typically regarded as a good idea. We'll let you be the judge on this one though. A machine that extracts sperm from donors hands-free if you catch our drift. Designed by Chinese doctors at the Yangtze Swanee Medical Center, the idea is to help donors who might be too embarrassed to donate their sperm the traditional way of using an old Playboy magazine and a hand that helps obtain the sperm from the donor. Resembling of a JJ, the two massages the guy while the machine features a screen that hopefully has more updated porn. Obviously the tubes are removable and a new one is used for each donor, just to put your mind at ease. And just in case this interests anybody, the hospital sells about 10,000 machines a year to hospitals all over the world, including Germany, France, and the US, just in case you're looking to test one out. Number 15, Edible Spray Paint. If you've ever used spray paint, chances are you never thought, man, if I could only eat this stuff, then I'd be set. But someone must have had a similar thought process. Otherwise, edible spray paint wouldn't exist, right? Well, after a bit of research, we found out that the paint is actually used to decorate food. It was created by a German food company called the Deli Garage, and they sell it online so people all over the world can buy it. Oddly enough, it has no discernible taste, so it won't alter your meal other than to make it look kind of interesting. So the next time you see a silver carrot or a blue apple, they might just be alright to eat. Though you should still probably ask someone, just to be sure. Number 14. Gas-Powered Roller Skates in 1956, they came up with the idea for motorized roller skates. And when you think about it, it actually makes total sense. Created by the motorized roller skate company from Detroit, these skates were powered by a jetpack looking thingy that ran on gasoline. The idea was that it would make trekking around the countryside or the city easier. They traveled at an impressive 17 miles per hour, but the makers never included any sort of braking mechanism. They also cost about 250 bucks back then which translates to around $2,200 in today's money. With all of that in mind, these bad boys pretty much faded into obscurity. Number 13, Toilet Seat Scale. Ever wondered how much weight you lose after going number two? If so, you're not alone. Meet the Toilet Scale, which does precisely that. It measures how much you weigh before and after your digestive system does its thing. Let's face it, we've all been there before. We eat a big spicy meal, and after dropping that deuce, we feel a few pounds lighter. So whether you're keeping tabs on your weight or you're just weirdly curious, you know that there's a thing called a toilet scale that exists. You're welcome, internet. Number 12, Fliz, foot-powered bicycle. If you want to get real technical, all bicycles are foot-powered, but this one has no pedals, gears, or any of the other fancy things that most cyclists enjoy. It's called the Fliz bike, and it uses concepts from hang gliding, such as a harness that suspends the rider in midair between two wheels. Drawing inspiration from 19th century precursors to bicycles called the Loft Machine, German designers conceived the idea for the Fliz with hopes of encouraging more cycling in urban areas. Number 11, the Credit Card Multi-Tool. The idea to essentially flatten out a Swiss army knife so that it fits into your wallet is a pretty brilliant one. That's what makes this little gadget so appealing. These things, which are about five centimeters long, typically include features such as a keyring hole, a two-position wrench, a four-position wrench, a bottle opener, a can opener, a ruler, a knife edge, a direction indicator, a saw blade, and a screwdriver. Did I miss anything? There are even variations of these multi-tools, such as the Wallet Ninja or the Metal Ant. Number 10, a Beer and Umbrella Hybrid. Known as the Beer Umbrella, this bizarre invention was conceived in 2001 when three guys named Mason McCollum 
Matt C., and Robert Bell put their heads together and designed a product that keeps you dry while getting you buzzed. In theory, the beer umbrella was really designed to keep your beverage of choice out of the sun. By placing a removable shaft and umbrella onto a drink holder, the makers envisioned a scenario where you could sit out by the pool, beach, wherever you hang out and sip on a drink without it getting warm. So there you have it, the beer umbrella. It keeps your drink cold, and if you ever want a drink in the rain, it's got you covered. Literally. Number 9. The Bulgarian Umbrella Since we're already discussing umbrellas, there's actually a cross between a gun and an umbrella. Well, sort of. This devious little gadget shoots poison pellets at an intended target using a hidden mechanism and an umbrella handle. The name Bulgarian Umbrella is derived from its use in the assassination of Georgi Markov, a dissident writer from Bulgaria. He was killed by the Bulgarian secret police and the KGB in 1978. We're not sure where you could buy this bad boy now, and unless you need it to buy a gift for an assassin in your social circle, you really don't need to know either. Number 8. Finger Fork These tiny forks attach to your fingers, so you can eat finger foods or hors d'oeuvres without getting your hands at all messy. It's probably not a great idea to eat a plate of spaghetti or something like that with these things. But if you want to keep your hands clean while eating a snack, you might like the finger fork. At the very least, it's a good conversation starter. Number 7. Trongs In addition to finger forks, there's also trongs. Another nifty little way to eat finger foods without directly using your fingers. These things would probably actually be amazing for eating wings. They also seem to be especially useful for when hors d'oeuvres are being passed around. You can just grab some without getting your fingers dirty. Your hands will be cleaner, and whoever shakes your hands will be grateful to you, even if you look kind of odd using them. Number 6. Bear Claw Meat Forks Sticking with the fork theme, we have the Bear Claw Meat Fork. Whoever invented the Bear Claw Meat Fork might have watched X-Men one day and figured, hey, if I had blades attached to my hands, I'd never need to buy utensils again. Assuming that's the case, they settled on a less extreme invention. Rather than being used to fight off villains, they are used in the kitchen when you're preparing meat for the grill or crock pot. The design is pretty cool, since it prevents you from slicing off your finger while preparing your meat. Number 5. Tomato Robot We live in a society where just about any niche can be filled. We know this to be true because someone invented a robot that feeds you tomatoes as you jog. Known as Tomatin, this robot fits on a person's body like a backpack and uses mechanical arms to dispense tomatoes for joggers to eat. All right, so you probably have a lot of questions, such as, why? So here's the deal. This robot was developed by a Japanese vegetable juice company called Kagame. Apparently, participants in the Tokyo Marathon enjoy eating tomatoes when they run, since they provide nutrients to help counter fatigue. Tomaten was designed for marathoners to make it possible to eat tomatoes without having to stop. And since the robot weighs 18 pounds, they even designed a more compact version called Petite Tomaten that weighs just over 6 pounds and features a tomato holster. So at the very least, you know the perfect snack to keep you energized when you jog. Number 4. Metal Detecting Sandals This sounds really strange, but for the sake of discussion, let's say you're out on the beach looking for buried valuables, such as pirate treasure or just something interesting. It can be kind of bothersome to use a metal detector, and it doesn't really cover all that much ground. It works using a copper wire that connects the sandal to a battery pack which can be strapped onto the calf. As you walk, it detects metal. While reviews of this product have been mixed, the idea is still pretty cool. Strange, but pretty cool. Number 3. Doggles It might not occur to us humans that man's best friend might need the occasional UV protection. As it turns out, dogs are also prone to a number of eye-related diseases, and doggles can help treat the symptoms from such diseases. The Doggles company based out of Diamond Springs, California, distributes these things and even sends them to US military dogs in Iraq and Afghanistan to shield their eyes from the effects of desert sandstorms. But I suspect a lot of people are probably using doggles as fashion accessories, so these dog owners can post funny pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Hey, I'm not gonna hate on that. Number 2. All-Terrain Car The idea of an all-terrain car makes perfect sense. I mean, why limit yourself, right? And while there are many different types of these cars out there, some of them have kind of stood out. Like this thing, whatever it is. A precursor to SUVs, maybe? Whatever it is, we've come a long way. 
Now there's the more modern Swin car, which stands alone in its strangeness. Part car, part spider. This French designed automobile kind of looks like a really fun go-kart for adults. With wheels that bend and suspend in different directions, the Swin car can handle ditches, hills, and all manner of off-road terrain with relative ease. Creeks, rocks, banks, mud, all that isn't a match for this bad boy. The wheels which are attached to the spider-like legs each bend in different directions. This allows the car and driver to stay vertical, no matter what sort of terrain they try to conquer. Oh yeah, this thing's also electric, so no need to keep buying gas every time you want to take out your spider car hybrid thinking. It's fun and good for the environment. Win-win. Number 1. Dynosphere Designed way back in 1930 by a fella named John Archibald Purves, the Dynosphere kind of looks like something you'd see at a circus, or maybe you'd think of a hamster wheel for people. Standing 10 feet tall, this gas-powered monowheel could reach speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. Made of iron and lattice, this odd-looking vehicle was created by Purves to be the vehicle of the future. Things didn't quite pan out that way. Although it looked interesting and could handle the road pretty well, it was nearly impossible to steer or brake, which presented a few problems. It also supposedly caused the driver to spin around in circles as well, which if true, would have been pretty complicated. So in the end, it didn't quite work out. While updated versions of the Dinosphere exist today, it's not a normal mode of transportation for anybody, but it does look sort of fun. Here's what's next. 